has not been allowed to be viewed. We, we are seeing the Arizona literally disintegrate. There were two bomb runs. The first to hit the Arizona bounced off the armor of a rear turret and did not cause serious damage. It was the second bomb run that killed her. At some point, Dr. Hawkinson took his camera and panned up and caught two formations of high-level bombers flying overhead. It's incredible that he caught that moment. Note how each formation is a tight V. This matches perfectly the bomb pattern shown in this Japanese aerial photograph. Is it possible that one of these planes may have carried the bomb that destroyed the Arizona? This shot is incredible. It shows the Japanese planes flying in a tight formation with the Japanese pilots relying on that training now to drop their bombs simultaneously. Here we see the plume from a bomb that has just missed the Arizona. The plume descends. To me, this is a smoking gun frame. We know that the Japanese planes dropped five bombs, and in this frame, we can see two of them splash in the water, and one that seems to hit the ship. In the background, the mast of the West Virginia lists to the left from the torpedo strikes. Two of the five bombs are accounted for. The third is about to strike, and then the Arizona blows apart. We see here a plume of smoke blow out through the ship's smokestack. Watch one more time. This is why some witnesses believed a bomb exploded there, an erroneous belief that is still in circulation. Ironically, had the bomb actually gone down the smokestack, the Arizona might have survived. Instead, this blast was triggered by the bomb ripping through the Arizona's decks, penetrating the starboard side of the forward magazine, and detonating the ship's massive gunpowder supply. Note how the force from this blast lifts and tilts the mast of the Arizona. Watch again. It's hard to get a perspective on what you're seeing here. The superstructure of the Arizona was nearly 10 stories high. In these frames, we see the tower rise nearly 30 feet in the air. And the explosion shockwave pushes away the smoke coming out of the smokestack of the repair ship Vestal just behind the Arizona. Huge powder bags blown into the air ignite like fireworks. A wave generated by the shock from the blast crashes into Ford Island. Watch again. Imagine the power it was needed to generate a tidal wave of that size. In the picture, these waves look small but they're nearly 10 feet high. And fed by the aviation gas from nearby tanks compromised by the explosion, the Arizona burns and burns. This is footage that I have been looking at my entire life.